Nine months ago, we introduced you to our friend Dobson. For years, he's been driving full-time for Uber, six days a week, almost 300 miles a day, and until last summer, that meant gassing up his Toyota Camry almost every day and changing his oil every other week. His cost for gas and oil changes was a whopping $1,900 a month. I see what I've done to those other cars. Yeah. Right, I see the amount of mileage I put on them. I wanna see if this baby would stand up to it. Honest truth, now that I have done this change, I don't actually think I can drive a gasoline car again. I don't. Last July, Dobson purchased a standard range plus Model 3, beginning the ultimate test for Tesla's durability. I hate to say this, but you can't drive this and want to drive a Camry. Yeah. You know, it's you, true. <laughs> you can't drive this and want to drive a Camry. The difference is night and day. Mm -hmm. So I get in the Camry and I'm driving and I'm like, what's wrong with this car? You know, and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. You know, it's just the fact that, you know, the. You're spoiled. Um, that's the right word. <laughs> you know, that's the right word. You know, you drive the yeah. Tesla and then you don't drive anything else. Today, Dobson's old Camry sits under a tree, while his Model 3 continues racking on the miles. Even for me, it's shocking that I have driven that much. I don't know if you could help me with that. Yeah. It's, you, can you see that? Almost 90,000 miles. His over 90,000 miles on the odometer is the equivalent of driving the Earth's circumference almost three times over in just the past nine months. If I said that myself, right, people would be like, oh, no, we're not sure that's no. true. So that's why I gave you, I gave it's it to you. <laughs> it is in here. I gave it to you for you to see that. That is you know? so crazy to yeah. me. I mean, this yeah. is a workhorse for sure. It is. You it are. Is. And you know, you know what I said, my last, my, the, you know the catchphrase I had, that let's put the Tesla to test. Yes. It is passing every test so far. He's been supercharging twice a day, six days a week for the past nine months and slow charging off the wall at night to recoup some of his 300 miles of driving. So I reached out to today's sponsor, Autel, and they're hooking him up with their new Autel Maxi smart home charger. So this thing is pretty slick. It's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, getting over the air updates to constantly improve the Indoor outdoor 40 amp level two charger plugs in directly to your NEMA 1450 outlet and it has an in-body holster with a 25 foot cable as well. Before the charger, Dobson was just getting around three to four miles of range an hour with his normal wall outlet. But this thing is at least seven times faster, getting over 30 miles an hour of charge so he can plug in at night and top off within just a few hours. You also get access to Autel's mobile app, allowing you to track, schedule, and optimize charging and take advantage of any off-peak electricity rates. It has an optional start-stop RFID feature to prevent unauthorized users if you have it outside of your house. They've got great reviews on Amazon, and from April 24th to 30th, Autel's offering a 20% discount on this charger, so I'll link it down below, so be sure to check them out. I could tell you that I know every charging point. I bet. I know every <laughs> charging point. In the past nine months, Dobson would have spent a little over $15,000 on operating his Camry, about $900 on oil changes, and just over $14,000 on gas alone. In that time, he's charged almost exclusively at superchargers, spending nearly $5,000 at supercharging stations alone, and a few hundred dollars on home trickle charging. That's more than 60% savings in his operating costs. If you want a total breakdown of his story, I'll link that first video with Dobson here as well. Have you had anything that you've had to repair on it? The only thing I've had done on the Tesla so far, it's the upper arms. I had the right one replaced. They were supposed to actually replace both, mm -hmm. right? And it was 90 bucks each, right? Because they took, because so of the it amount. So was warranty? It was not in warranty? Ideally, right, it should still be under warranty. But when they see the amount of miles that is on it, that annuls the mm -hmm. warranty. But I mean, hey, when I think about mm -hmm. that, that it was 90 bucks on each side, yeah. and that's the only expense I have yeah. had to date. No oil changes, no, like. You know, I, I just, um, I, I, I took my Camry out to just go have the oil change done yesterday, which was part of why I could meet with you guys yesterday. Just the oil change was 50 bucks, and then the air filter was another 53, right? That, that's just one whatever for that day. Yeah. Totally has gone much more than what I have spent maintaining the Tesla. He's also hoping that with his home charger, he'll cut back on one of his two daily supercharging stops, saving another 10 to $12 a day by charging at home. One of the good things about the fact that I charge twice, right? And when I'm charging, I try to charge for like 40, 50 minutes. I take a nap. When I'm done charging, I'm still a little bit tired. 
So I just unplug so that I'm not having to pay for idle yeah. time, right? Yeah. I unplug it and then I give myself some more time to rest. And what everyone wants to know is what percentage does he charge to and how much range has he lost? His standard range plus was rated at 240 miles brand new. I checked again on the Tesla website and then they said once in a while, you can just get it to the 100, but make sure you drive it immediately. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have played with that a bit, you know, played with 90 and then 100 the odd time mm -hmm. now and again. He says he almost always sets it to 90% and after nearly a year of twice a day supercharging, the car shows around 214 miles while fully charged. That's also about 90% of its original rated range from when it was new. So are you still using the Camry at all? No, I don't. Um, there are maybe the odd time now and again, right? Maybe um, like say for instance, I just got in now. If I got a call to do a ride immediately, right? And I had to charge this, right? Yeah. I might just say, okay, you know what? Let me just um, go out with the Camry. But it's very, it's, I, I use it sparsely. Mm -hmm. Now, have there been times where you wish that you did have the longer range model? Yeah, there were times that I do wish that. You could be in the thick of rush hour and you have to go and charge, mm -hmm. right? And then that just takes you off. Mm -hmm. So, but if you had the long range at that time, which is about 300 miles, right? That would actually even almost take me through my day. According to his Tesla app, 87% of Dobson's charging has happened at superchargers, but this home setup should change that. Now I can come home with close to zero, mm -hmm. knowing that I have the charger at home that I could charge it with. You can take a nap in your bed as opposed to your car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true true and just have it charged yeah you know so you see why i can't thank you guys enough oh. for that you know because well, you guys you, too, you guys are you guys are wonderful you know you've always looked out for me even from the very oh, very yes. get-go love this guy you know very cool what other questions do you guys have for dobson leave them in the comments below also please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and you like this video all right guys, so last year I tweeted Elon asking if we could make gifting free supercharging miles a thing as we have over 800,000 free miles that are set to expire soon. We'd love to be able to share some of these miles with people just like Dobson who can actually put some of them to use. Feel free to share this video and see if we can get Elon's attention and thanks again for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you're in the Atlanta area and you want ride services from Dobson, text the following number to get started. But you know, for me at that time, it was more like the initial cost outlay just sounded a lot, mm -hmm. you know, at that time. But when you look at it, over time, you'd find out that in no time, you'd actually make that money back. But mm -hmm. for me, it was just, you know, mental block. You were used yeah. to buying these gasoline cars at a particular um, cost. And then I was also looking at the fact that it's a walk tool. You know, I looked at the Tesla at that time like a luxury car. Yeah. Right, and just thought, hey, no, you know what, why? But I'll tell you this, Kim, since I've had this car, my clientele has also increased. Now I have corporate clients. You know, it's not just the regular pick up the Uber, yeah. whatever. I have corporate clients. I have offices, two offices, where I take their staff to the airport and bring them back. And then when they have guests as well, I have to go pick them and bring them back. So. It's been a wonderful experience. I know. I know you you've much. been a busy guy because oh, yeah. we've been trying to get this interview down know, for right? a little while. <laughs> and he's busy. He's hard to, you know, book him down. I know right I now know, he's I charging. Know. He's in between clients. Yeah. We're like, just give us 30 minutes. It just, you know, it glides like a gazelle. You know, it just goes, you know, and, you know, it's, it's. And then again, the acceleration. Oh, my goodness. When I first started, right? People would get in the car and they'll be like, oh, it's a Tesla, oh, you know, yeah. and they just want to take pictures of themselves and they would pay me extras like tips and everything and just be like, oh, can I just take a picture with a... <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know what, it's just like you're sitting on a gold mine and all of that. I mean, you have more people now doing the Tesla, so yeah. that, that um, whatever, is not like it used to be at the onset. Tell you, people actually tell me things like, I could change my ticket just to have me take them to the airport, mm -hmm. you know, and I know it's not really, I mean, it's not me, you know, it's just two things, maybe the service I provide and what I provide the service with. That. Yeah, but it's also you because 
once you get a ride from Dobson, you'll realize like how charming <laughs> this guy is. And yeah, I'll take that. Well, Tesla what. just reduced their prices right now. Yeah, no, I know. I know that the price. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, the funny thing about it, that actually ticked me off a bit because my <laughs> car note is still much more than how much it will cost to buy a brand new Tesla. I want to focus on me and what my goal at the, at the onset was. Mm -hmm. Goal at the onset was see how much this can reduce, you know, my expenditure, right, mm -hmm. and everything. So even though they have dropped the prices, right, and it looks like, oh my God, I could have waited. No, the, the amount of um, gains I have gotten just driving this rather than drive the gasoline I told you, all I have had done is the upper arms on one side. I haven't yeah. even done the other one, right? And that alone, you know, one oil change wipes that. And I yeah. used to have two oil changes in a month. Mm -hmm. You know, and then maybe the next time you'll be talking to me, it will be the Model what Y. What do you guys think? Does he need a Model Y and a Model 3? You're just going to have this fleet. I know, right? I know. So anything that you would do differently or recommend to somebody um, who does ride chair, and wants to have a Tesla, any recommendations? What I'd say at this point is get the longer range. I just wanted to get a Tesla. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get in there, you know, so I jumped in with both feet. I have no regrets whatsoever, but if you have the longer range, you spend more time on the road, you know, and that way you can plan your day a lot easier, you know. So that's all I'd say, that get that. Don't only just subscribe to the channel, share the video as well, because it's benefited you that's why you have done the change. So if that has happened to you, I mean, this is not the, it's not like we don't work for the CIA and all of that. And we're saying we're trying to keep this as a top secret, you know, <laughs> so let's spread the word. Let other people as well be able to benefit. And that's the good thing about the, you know, not just the Tesla family, the Tesla family, the Uber family. Let's all just get together and benefit from this whole thing. That would be my charge to everyone. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>